Just to be clear, there were very few, if any, cases where a nun would leave the anchor's cell. They were bricked in, and typically they were given last rites before they entered the cell, meaning they were sentenced to death while they were still living. So Hildegard leaving was a big fucking deal. <laughs> uh, while she was in the cell, she experienced visions from God, and one vision in particular encouraged her to start her own abbey in Rupertsburg. Uh, but when she communicated this vision to the church, uh, they just sort of laughed her off. Uh, so basically she's this genius visionary living right under their noses, but you know, while she tries to establish herself, they don't take her seriously. Don't look him directly in the eyes, but don't look at the ground. Um, do your best to uh, stay engaged, but don't question too much. Uh, and, uh, be timorous. Don't be smarter than him. This is ridiculous. Do you want to stay here forever? No. I'm getting sick every day I'm here. Then play by the rules. No, make it seem like it's his idea. Are you sure you don't want me to come in there? No, I can do it. I should ask. Good luck. Abbot Kuno? Since you ascended to the role of abbess, renew the beauty of your touch, keep our monasteries flushed. Now, I know you probably didn't understand what was expected of you at the funeral. A simple song with less um, detail. But don't you worry, your role as abbess is simple. I know you'll do great. Thank you for coming. And have a great day. Did you ask him? No. Get back in there. <laughs> Abbot Kuno, I think you know that this life has been difficult, but it's all for God, so every day's a blessing. But look, so disimportant, Berg has been my home for 30 years, but I think that I've outgrown it. What? You don't like it here. Uh, Abbot Kuno, ap uh, apologies. I I'm nervous, but... I have some ideas I would like to share. Ideas? And I don't know, but some of the nuns call them visions. Vision? And I don't know, <laughs> but I'm sick every day I'm here. And, and maybe, just, just maybe, maybe, I should go maybe. to a different... To a different... nuns in line, happy, fulfilled, etc. And in line. Rule number two, when in doubt, think, will, will this make the church look good? If so, do it. If not, don't do that thing. Thanks for coming. And have a great day. Abbot Kuno, I hope you know gratitude goes out to you, so with Thank respect, you. bereft of death of love, you know what, yeah, I'll just go. Thanks for listening, and have a great day. Him to God, him. You to God, as obvious here. You can't adhere to the whims of your heart. And you will see, working with me. Taxing, or easy and sweet. Just concur, I know God's word. Ach, we is, and there's less stress you'll have to endure. Hildegard, you do so wonderfully at your role. In fact, why don't you keep writing some more of your cute songs of yours? Stay the course, and and you won't be forced back into your anchor cell. Do you know why it's so important to follow the church's guidance right now? There's a war going on out there, and people who claim to know the will of God aim to destroy us for the way that we live. 
But here's what they don't know. We know the will of God in his almighty powers, and going against it means eternal damnation, hellfire, the apocalypse here on earth. <laughs> and we don't want that, no. <laughs> but our enemies do, and we are better than our enemies because we follow our creator's command. Hail to God, all this to say. You must display humility every day. Defeat a foe. I know you're new, but please assume a voice that strays from the church's point of view. Trust the system. Metfried just brewed a new keg. Excuse me, Hildegard. I have more important business to attend to. <laughs> so I can't finish this. So shocking that a man in a position of power would act like that, right? Message! Never happens anymore, so it's crazy. <laughs> Um, so Hildegard asks to go to Rupertsburg. Abbott says no, and she's like, okay, cool, well, I'm going to keep writing. So she writes poetry, she writes musical compositions, she writes prophetic visions, and she asks Volmar to be her editor and to help her spread the good word. 